Hi, I'm Vidal with PhotoFocus with a gear review. I had a chance to sit down with director producer Ty Hunt as we took a look at the Revo SR1000 shoulder cam. Ty gave us some great insight on how he used it on set. Hi. Hey, what's up, man? Thank you so much for taking time of out of your schedule to come in. You got it. Now, you're used to working on these huge production sets. Right. Now, I'm fortunate that I get to pull Ty in <laughs> and, and have you help out on some of the smaller productions mm -hmm. we, we do at the studio. Right. Now, I don't have the budget that a lot of your film companies have. Mm -hmm. So, when I asked you to help out recording some of the tutorial videos, we needed a steady cam. Okay. Now, how much of the steady cams that you work with? They can start at around 2K and then just work their way up from there. Wow. Okay, so photographers, we thought photography was expensive. Video gets way up there. Oh, yeah. In now, a since I didn't have a $2,000 Steadicam, mm -hmm. I did have this. Right. This uh, Rebo uh, SR1000 is really great because what it does is it allows you to get the camera out of your hands and get it onto something a little bit more sturdy. Because let's face it, we have muscles, they're going to get tired, and the more you um, get tired, your hand's going to shake. And you're going to see that in the, uh, the footage itself, and that's going to make it unusable. Exactly. And so what's great about this is, like I said, it gets a lot of the weight off of your hand and out of your arms and puts it on your shoulder, which is a little bit more sturdy. Good. Yeah, like my, my buddy Rick, that was a production we were doing, mm -hmm. he thought things would take like five, ten minutes would be done. Yeah. And I tried to explain this and it would take the entire day. Oh, yeah. So this is where this came in handy. Oh, yeah. Uh, so instead of you standing there the entire day mm -hmm. holding a camera like this or mm -hmm. putting it even on a tripod. Right. We, because you had to move with Right. This made Rick. it a little bit more dynamic because now I can move wherever I'm going and, you know, make the shot a little bit more interesting than just having it on a tripod and just staying there um, static. And it allowed me to do that and keep it generally stable. Because again, going back to your footage in post, I don't care how strong these computers are gonna get, they're never gonna be able to stabilize a really shaky shot. Gotcha. Now, who could you see using this? Obviously, this isn't something you would use on a huge budget set mm -hmm. because they have a budget to buy the steady cams. Right. So, who would use something like this? Um, DSLR shooters that are just starting out to uh, be able to know what it's like to put something on a, on a rig and get it out of their hands and be able to stabilize the shot that way. Um, wedding photographers, or videographers rather, um, will really appreciate something like this. That way they can keep moving, um, allows them to be super uh, nimble and all that kind of stuff. Um, and pretty much anybody that generally wants to learn what it's like to use this kind of setup and not have to pay a bazillion dollars to you know, use the ex expensive gear. Gotcha, oh, that's great. Now, we were talking about holding. Yes. So, because originally I held it like that too, the mm -hmm. very first time I got it. Right. Um, what were you suggesting? Actually, this is actually pretty bad because it's a little unbalanced, and so you can see a little bit of that in the, uh, in the, uh, in the shot. Better idea is just to switch your hands. That way you have a little bit more stability that way, and it's more of a base, and then you can use your other hand for focusing. Wow. Now, you also made a comment, some of the ones you're, you're using the, the handle itself is further away. Right, so you, if you put like an L bracket on this, you can uh, move the handle wherever it's more comfortable for you. Right now with it being under the, the plate here, it may not be perfectly balanced for you. And you know, having something that you can customize will help your, will help your shot in the end. Great, but overall you're pretty happy with it? Yeah, I mean it, did? it came through. You know, I wasn't very surprised because you know, these things are great and at the end of the day, it helped to take a lot of the weight off of me because, again, like you said, with it being an all-day shoot, we're just going to get tired. Yeah, 15-minute shoot that takes all day. Exactly. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Well, hey, thanks so much yeah. for taking time out of your schedule. Anytime, I really man. appreciate it. Anytime. Great. Well, I'm Benelli with Photo Focus. Thanks for watching. <laughs>